Hey guys, it's Margaret with Texas Gal Treasures and today I'm bringing you a video about uh, selling jewelry and as I titled this, this is a jewelry seller's cautionary tale. Um, I've been selling jewelry now, getting more and more into it and talking more and more about it and so I know some of you are getting more interested in checking it out and so I wanted to bring you this video uh, to tell you a story about something that happened with another jewelry seller and myself an interaction between the two of us and <clears throat> and a sort of cautionary tale for why you need the tools to test the items um previously i've always just kind of suggested like oh if you're going to sell jewelry you might think about getting this gold testing kit or you might think about you know making sure you've got the loop the magnet etc cetera, etc cetera. Um, but after this i'm going to say i it's really worth the investment. It doesn't cost that much. If you're really going to be getting into selling jewelry more, um, you will save a lot of money and time by having the kit. Um, and let me just jump into the story. Hang on, let me minimize my screen real fast. Um, okay, so let me tell you what happened. So I run a jewelry group on Facebook called Jewelry Lovers and Sellers, uh, where we can go in and share pieces we found, ask for advice or keywords or what is this stone or what will you call this, um, anything like that. Marking, you know, like what is this stamp? I don't know. So anyway, a girl in our group, and I gave, I asked her permission before I tell the story, so don't. I'm not doing this as a uh, gotcha type of thing or to make anybody feel bad. You know, I said, hey, do you mind me sharing the story? Um, as an edu for educational purposes because I think a lot of people need to hear this because you may be making this error without even realizing it because I'm sure she didn't realize it. I think she had a hunch, but she didn't realize it. So, hey, Jessica in the chat, hi. So what happened was in the jewelry group, uh, she posted this pair of earrings. I'm gonna show them to you now. She posted these earrings to ask for keywords and just to ask for you know our thoughts um, on them. So, I I fell in love with the earrings, costume jewelry, gold, whatever. I but we have a very strict rule in the group that you are not allowed to sell in the in, sell your jewelry or say you know hey do you want to buy this? It's for sale because it's an automatic delete block from the group because there's only me and Tanya and the group is growing and I don't have time to go through a message every time somebody makes a mistake. So because we have that rule, um, I direct messaged her and said, hey, you know, I know we don't have, we have the rule we can't sell, but if, you know, if you will let me know when you list these earrings, you know, I'm really interested because I just love them. So she did. She let me know when she listed them. Um, she listed them on eBay for $30 and I bought them. So this was a, this week or last week. So they came day before yesterday. And when I got them, I started looking them over and realized I, I don't think these are costume jewelry. Um, one, when I looked at the, the pearl, you could see the, what's it called? La it's got the, there's a word for it. Angie said it the other day, and I can't remember. Um, you know, the, the face of the pearl, you could see the um, differences in the, it wasn't like a smooth bead, you know what I mean? Um, and then when the, where the two pieces joined together, there was no wear. Like if it was plated or had a coating or was costume jewelry, the places that move, when you look at them with a loop, you would, you would see signs of wear or scratching or, and there was none of that. And um, so the more I looked at it, the more um, suspect it became. So I decided to test it. Um, I got my magnet out. It wasn't magnetic. I got my loop out. I went all over, I mean, seriously, like 45 minutes because some places, you know, vintage pieces, the, the marks can be kind of hidden. I cleaned it because it was kind of dirty, probably from hairspray. Um, and I, I couldn't find a mark anywhere. Knacker, that's what it is. And I was going to say that, but I was like, isn't that, no, that's not a rug, that's a nap. Never mind. Okay. So, <laughs> so yeah, um, at this point, I pulled out my gold testing kit, like that, um, and, go, and I went ahead and tested it. So I tested the three parts, the hook, this part, and this part, because it's in three pieces. So I tested all three, and for my testing, it came out as 14 karat gold. Um, so at this point, I message her and say, hey, the earrings that you sent me 
uh, I'm testing them as gold, you know, when I'm, when I'm testing them out. Um, so I'm going to take them tomorrow, which was yesterday. I'm going to take them tomorrow to uh, the gold guy that I go see, and I'm going to have him look them over because I'm still, I don't consider myself an expert at all, you know, and for all I know, there's some metal that mimics 14 karat gold or, or they're plated or something like that. And I was like, I want to find out for sure about these earrings for you. So I took them over yesterday to the gold guy. He tested them out and they ended up testing at 12 karat gold, which generally means that they are vintage because not a whole lot is still done in 12 karat gold as far as I know. Um, and then he said, you know, yeah, they're either vintage from before, because since 1908, I think, uh, any jewelry made, you know, gold, silver in America has to be stamped, or they're made in another country that ha doesn't have those rules and they were brought over here. So um, 12 karat gold is what he tested them out at. Uh, so I messaged her yesterday and said, you know, they, they ended up testing at 12 karat gold. I, I want to send you some more money because I don't feel right you know, getting them for $35. So I sent her some more money for them. And she said, I took them. She took them to a jeweler to have a jeweler look at them. And the jeweler just looked them over, didn't test them, and told her they're costume jewelry. She even took them. She did her due diligence, you know, because she didn't have a testing kit. So she took them to the jeweler, didn't test them, said they were costume. And they're not. Um, and the reason I'm guessing the jeweler didn't test them is because they weren't marked. Um, so that changed the price. So she sold them to me for $35. If it was just to scrap them, like I'm selling them to melt them down for the gold, um, they would be worth in just scrap $192. Um, if I were going to list these, which I am not because I still love them and I'm going to wear them. If I were going to list them, I'd probably list them closer to $250 to $300. So that's a huge difference, <laughs> big time. So yeah, the, um, so my point in telling you this story is if you're going to get into jewelry, one, know that some pieces aren't marked. Sometimes gold pieces, silver pieces aren't marked. If they're from another country, if they're vintage, they may not be marked. Um, secondly, sometimes there's a mark and they're not correct and you don't want to list an item because as a jeweler told me, stamps are cheap and it's real easy to get a 14K stamp and stamp it on a piece of costume jewelry, you know, uh, and sell it for a lot of money. So you don't want to be caught out selling something because, oh, it's stamped and selling something as 14 karat gold on eBay or Etsy. And then it comes back because if I got a piece that was 14 karat, bought for 14 karat gold and it was not, I would be very angry, <laughs> you know. So um, it is worth picking up the the tools of the trade because I'm going to screen share. Here's the kit. Um, and at first I'm like, oh yeah, it seems like it might be kind of pricey. But here's the, the main kit that I've got here. And it costs basically $40. So basically $40. And if you think about it, you know, she sold these to me for $35. They're probably, you know, with the design, not just even just the gold meltdown, $192. I mean, that's way, more, way enough to like cover the cost of getting the kit. Um, and this is, this is the kit that I have, and it comes with the magnifier. It comes with, you know, the loop. It comes with the stone. It comes with the acids. It comes with the scale. Um, it comes with the little magnet. There's a little magnet I use. It comes with these. I don't ever use those. Um, let's see. That's the stone. So it comes with pretty much everything you need. And I carry the, the loop, and I carry the little magnet in my... A pouch when I go out so that I can double check things over, you know, when I'm out and about. So, um, yeah, it's 40 bucks. If you're really going to get into selling jewelry more, totally worth it because, like I say, you don't want to sell something that's marked, but it's not. Um, and you wouldn't do it to be, to be dishonest or to be, to trick somebody if you, th you know, it's marked. Okay, I'm going to sell it, right? Um, but just to make sure that it doesn't come back to bite you later, you you know, you want to make sure that you're selling something correctly. So uh, let me share with you real fast a couple other things that I suggest getting if you decide to go, you know, you're moving more towards picking up more jewelry. 
Um, I, I have the diamond testing, um, the diamond tester, which has come in handy. Uh, I don't use it all the time. It's not, a, I mean, this is more like a maybe if you're really, really getting into it. And then um, a ring sizer so that when you're listing a ring, you, you can tell what size it is because people want to know. So those are the main, main things. Um, so I have a... I have a link down below in the description where it's, um, I think it says the jewelry testing kit that I use. It's an affiliate link, you guys, so that doesn't mean you pay more. It just means if you click on it, um, it's like a finder's fee. Amazon will see, oh, Margaret sent you. And then if you buy it, I don't, I get like a teeny commission off of it. I don't know, it's like 15, 25 cents or something like that. So it's, <clears throat> it doesn't end up costing you more. It just tells Amazon where you came from. Um, so let's see in the chat because I've got some friends over there. Um, hi, Fran and Felicia and Diane. Hey, Sherry and let's see, Jennifer. And hi, Sherry. And yes, Snacka, that's right. Hey, Jennifer. Um, Sherry says, so true. I got ripped off by a dishonest dealer that way when I first started in jewelry. Yeah. And then Diane says, I don't leave home without my magnet loop scales and diamond tester. Yes. Oh, thanks, Diane. She says, I love how passionate you are about uh, educating everyone. Hey, Les. So for sure, you know, <clears throat> use my link. I really appreciate it because then I get a little uh, commission or whatever. Let's see. Hey, hey, Greg, Valley Picker and Jill and Vicki. Um, Greg says, I see jewelry, re jewelry resellers in the glass cases with their magnifying glasses. I always think they know something I don't. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, and J Julie says, I'm trying out Etsy on your recommendation. <clears throat> oh, I'm going to have to put that link in here, too. If you guys are thinking about getting on to Etsy, um, I have a link. I'll drop it in after the show that you can get 40 free listings uh, if you go through my link. So you get 40 free listings, and I also get 40 free listings. <clears throat> Pardon me. So um, I'll put that in there after the show because you can sell vintage jewelry or if you have you know broken things you're going to put into a lot on eBay just to lot it up. Um, you can also put that on Etsy as a supply because people use them as a supply to make stuff. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, you know, I have the Simichrome polish also if I find Bakelite, which I'm just starting to learn about. So I think that's pretty, pretty much it. Um, <clears throat> but again, cautionary tale, you don't want to end up giving away money or selling something, you know, that's worth more or something that's not real. So definitely, um, yes, if you're going to do that, get the kit. Uh, it's more than just a recommendation now. Jill says, do you have an Etsy store or can you sell without a store? Well, it's, um, it's different than on eBay, so you don't have to pay for the store, you know, like there's store levels on eBay. With Etsy, it's just, you know, you have a listing up and it's 20 cents a listing and there's no, you know, store fees or, you know, you have to pay so much every month or whatever it is. Um, <clears throat> no, it's just 20 cents, list, a, list an item, that's it. So, Sharice says, I signed up <clears throat> years ago, never listed anything. Um, yeah, it, 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 that's what is a great promo, I, and I'll go back and put the link in here. So, yeah, and if you are also interested, go over to Facebook and join the Jewelry Lovers and Sellers group. Um, also, International League of Thrifters, because we have a lot of people there that have a lot of knowledge. And like I said, I'm not an expert. I know some things, but I also know that I don't know. <laughs> I know enough to know I don't know at all. Um, but they're, with everybody's expertise pulling together, um, I'm able to go to the group with things and say, what is this? I can't think of what this stone is called, or how can I tell the difference between this and this? And, and there's somebody there that will be able to, um, <clears throat> that will be able to help you. Simichrome color, it's, I, it's yellow, I think. I think I misspoke in the video and said orange at one point, and uh, I got corrected vigorously. <laughs> because th those Bakelite people are passionate. I'll just put it that way. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Vicki was saying, I was wondering what kind of stuff sells on Etsy. Saw your children's books. Yeah, vintage stuff. Um, I sell vintage and supplies, jewelry. Morning, Joni. How are you? Okay, so... That's pretty much it. If you're getting more into jewelry, get the gold testing kit because you don't want to uh, give away a lot of money, over $200 probably, you know, in, in, in gold, you know. So, yeah. Um, 
thanks a lot for watching you guys i appreciate it and let's move forward and learn more stuff about jewelry and and make that money and i will talk to you guys later bye